Hi everybody, this is another flying rookie video and on this video um, I'm going to show how you can get this flight controller that I got mounted on my Kawi 330XX that is the AQ50D okay Pro, TMF Pro I'm going to show how you can get this flight controller to work with your Windows computer so this thing that I'm gonna explain right now, this process I'm gonna explain right now, is when it comes to the driver, you have to install the driver for any version of Windows. It doesn't matter if that's Windows XP, Windows Vista 7 or 8. Okay, you have to install the driver. Now, when it comes to the software, obviously you have to install the software in all these versions of Windows that I mentioned but when it comes to Windows HP once you install the software you are ready to go you know, talking about the utility tool and this the firmware updater you are ready to go as long as you got the driver of the USB link installed now when it comes to um, Windows 7 Windows Vista and Windows 8 there's some steps that you need to follow to get this software to work because just by installing the software in the computer it's not it's not just gonna work from the get-go there's some little things that you have to do first okay so first I'm gonna download the software so you have to go to Google and then when you go to Google you have to type um, I'm gonna type the name of the seller where I purchased this uh, flight controller because this seller also got the links to download the software okay so it was infinity i already uh got over here so it's infinity hobby aq50d pro you just click there okay and then it's going to show you on the top it's going to show you just click on the first uh search result on the top it's going to take me to infinity hobby website and it's going to take me not only to the website but also to the uh, page that shows uh, the flight controller that I got. Okay, so you have to scroll it until it, show, until it says downloads, like right here. You see that it says downloads, okay? And then on downloads, you have to, these choices here uh, for the firmware, the latest firmware. Uh, you got also the firmware uploader. You got the manufacturer website link. And you got the utility tool over here okay so these the the latest stuff but you also you can uh, you got the choice that you can go to uh, the manufacturer website and get that information from them just to make sure that you're getting the latest stuff now the funny thing is about the the people that manufacture this flight controller they the name of the company it got nothing to do with the name of this flight controller so if you try to find it on your own it's going to be really hard so boy you try to find it through infinity hobby then it's going to be easy so uh before i click to the manufacturer first i want to download the firmware updater software so i'm going to click right here okay and then i'm going to save it oops make a mistake click right here and then i'm going to save it into the desktop okay so let me click desktop and save so now it's been saved into the desktop and now I'm going to go and check the desktop and make sure I got the software right there and it's still downloading so that's okay so let me um, now go and to where it says you know for the latest updates please check the manufacturer website so I'm going over it right now okay and this is the manufacturer website then from um, when you reach the website, the website's name uh, SJPRS my dot my web dot I, I'm just gonna put the link from this. It, it's weird because these people they didn't name the website after the product that they make that is named Top Microflight. You got a different name. So then I'm gonna click downloads. Okay, so I'm in downloads right now. And the next thing you want to download is the driver for this okay and the software that you're going to use the utility tool software so i'm going to download the driver okay and i'm going to put it on the desktop okay and now i'm going to proceed to download 
the utility software as well into the desktop okay so I already got the driver so let me just move the, this thing over here So I gotta install the software first, okay? For the, I mean the hard, the the driver for the USB link. So I'm just gonna ask you some questions. You're gonna be installing this the same way you will install this on any other computer. You know, like you were starting any kind of uh, piece of hardware okay, and then just click the set and just let it install okay installation is finished Click finish over here. Okay, now the installation is complete. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the USB link to the computer. Then since the software is already installed, the computer is now asking me to do any further installation. Okay, so let me just remove it and now I'm gonna plug this thing into the flight controller on the aircraft. The nice thing about this flight controller is that you can do whatever updates you can do you, you want to do with it either with the flight controller uh, directly into the computer or you can also power it from the battery if you want to do the remote calibration so either way it will work. Okay now I'm going to open right now the the utility tool. No, this is the firmware updater. Okay, and as you can see, over here it's supposed to show me the COM ports, but it's not showing me anything. So that's a problem. And the same thing is going to happen when I open the utility tool. There's this one down here. You see, it's not showing me the COM ports anywhere. So if I if I cannot find the COM port, how I can get this thing to work? If I can find it, okay. So I'm gonna close this. Yeah, I'm gonna close this one too. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to properties. You know, you gotta right click and go to properties. And then when you go to properties. You have to go to where it says uh, compact. You know the the section. You know for uh, you know make this thing compatible, and then go all the way down here where it says privilege level and click run as an administrator. And then click apply, and then click OK. And the same thing you gotta do with this one down here. That is the tool, the utility tool. Uh, right click. Oops. Right click, click properties, then go to the comp compatible section, and then after that, go to where it says uh, run this program as administrator. Then click apply, and click OK. Now I'm going to open the utility tool. Let me just swap this thing. Okay.
And now you can see that it shows on the computer that I got it's detecting a COM port. Okay, I don't know this is the this is the only COM port that is detecting, so now you have to click uh, I'm gonna click refresh and see if it shows any other COM port. No, you just show COM4 and then just click connect. As you can see, now the software is detecting the flight controller, it's getting all the readings from the flight controller. It also knows that this flight controller is set up as a quadcopter. Okay, and I'm gonna move the quadcopter, and you can see the the horizon, the artificial horizon is moving with the quadcopter to the same direction the quadcopter is moving. So now it's working the way it's supposed to work. Okay. So I'm not going to do any settings over here because I did already all the settings that I need to do with this. So I'm just going to disconnect this and close it. And I'm going to open the, the, the firmware updater software. And now also you see that it detect a COM port. So I'm going to click connect. Well, since I don't have any new firmware over here, you know, there's no point. You know, I got no new firmware to install into the flight controller, but now you can see that it's detecting the COM port, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's all the steps that you have to follow. You have to install the driver for your uh, USB link, the TMF U-2. You have to install the utility tool software uh, that it's, it's better you download it from the website and you have to uh, from the website of the manufacturer or also you have to download um, the firmware updater and the utility tool software and once you follow those steps and you go and set up these two softwares to work as an administrator then you know the problem is going to be solved and your software is going to work the way it's supposed to be okay so this is the end of this video i hope this video was helpful for you guys and if you guys like this video please don't forget to rate comment subscribe favorite this video and share with others okay so thanks for watching bye